The Voyager mission is one of NASA's longest-running and most successful missions. Five decades after launch, Voyager would go off and miraculously turn on back, only to immediately send a terrifying signal. What has the Voyager found, and why are scientists concerned about it? Welcome to my channel, Historical Studies, before diving into the mysteries of history there is a small reminder, if you are really interested in this kind of information do not hesitate to, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. Gary Flandro Voyager Mission One of the names you might not be familiar with when it comes to NASA's most successful missions is Gary Flandro. However, the Voyager 1 spacecraft's path was significantly determined by Flandro, an aerospace engineer. His calculations and insights allowed the Voyager missions, which have since become legendary in the history of space travel, to be carried out successfully. Flandro made an important discovery while working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL in the middle of the 1960s. He predicted that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, there would be a rare alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It was a rare opportunity for a spacecraft to take advantage of gravitational help to swing from one planet to the next, saving time and fuel, because this alignment occurs about once every 175 years. The concept of gravitational assist, or the slingshot effect, involves a spacecraft using the gravity of a planet to increase its velocity and alter its trajectory. As the spacecraft approaches a planet, it falls into its gravitational field, gaining speed. Much of this increased velocity is retained as it moves away, giving it an effective boost. Engineers can make use of this effect to send spacecraft on lengthy journeys with minimal fuel consumption by carefully planning the trajectory. Flandro suggested a grand tour mission after understanding the potential of this rare occasion. In order to visit all four of the outer planets, this project would send a spaceship on a journey through the solar system. He suggested a trajectory that would enable the spacecraft to pass sequentially by each planet, gain data, and transmit it back to Earth. Flandro's proposal was met with enthusiasm at NASA. However, due to budget constraints and the technical challenges involved, NASA decided to scale back the mission. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 would be launched instead of one spaceship visiting all four planets. Voyager 1 was tasked with flybys of Jupiter and Saturn, while Voyager 2 would also visit Uranus and Neptune if its earlier objectives were successful. Voyager 1 On September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 was launched, marking an important day in human history and space exploration. It marked the beginning of an epic journey that would take the spacecraft to the outer planets and beyond, revealing new wonders and mysteries of the solar system and interstellar space. The JPL in California developed and built the Voyager spacecraft. To examine the planets in their moons, rings, magnetic fields, atmospheres, and radiation environments, they transported a set of 11 scientific instruments. Compared to its twin Voyager 2, which had been launched two weeks earlier, Voyager 1 had a faster and shorter trajectory. In November 1977, it arrived at the asteroid belt and crossed it without any problems. Voyager 1's closest approach to Jupiter occurred on March 5, 1979, at a distance of about 217,000 miles or 349,000 kilometers. Voyager 1 was the second spacecraft to visit Jupiter. Voyager 1 Discoveries in Jupiter It made a number of findings and observations during its visit that significantly changed our knowledge of the gas giant and its moons. The fact that Jupiter has a tiny ring surrounding it that cannot be seen from Earth was one of the most amazing discoveries. The ring is composed of dust particles that are probably ejected from the inner moons by meteorite impacts. Thebe and Métis, two new moons, were also found by Voyager 1. Volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's four big moons, was another important discovery. It is the solar system's most geologically active body, according to breathtaking photographs taken by Voyager 1 of plumes of gas and dust rising from the planet's surface. Voyager 1 also observed Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and Amalthea, Jupiter's other moons. It discovered a lot of Jupiter's valuable discoveries. 
Voyager 1 discoveries in Saturn. It arrived at Saturn on November 12, 1980. It also flew by Saturn's largest moon, Titan, making it the first spacecraft to study Titan's thick atmosphere. One of the most amazing findings was the G-ring, a new ring on Saturn that was not visible from Earth. The G-ring is composed of tiny particles that are probably ejected from the inner moons by meteoroid impacts. Prometheus, Pandora, Atlas, Epimetheus, and Janus, five more new moons that are circling within or close to the rings, were also found by Voyager 1. Another significant discovery concerned the complex structure of Saturn's rings, which are made of billions of ice and rock particles with sizes ranging from dust grains to boulders. Other moons of Saturn, including Titan, Enceladus, Mimas, Tethys, Dion, Rhea, Hyperion, Iapetus, and Phoebe, were also observed by Voyager 1. It made many of Saturn's important discoveries. Voyager 1 passed NASA's Pioneer 10 to become the most distant object produced by humans from Earth on February 17, 1998. Despite its incredible distance and age, Voyager 1 still communicates with Earth. The communication between Voyager 1 and Earth is not instantaneous, but takes time, depending on the distance between them. The speed of light, or around 186,000 miles or 300,000 kilometers per second, is what the radio signals move at. But because Voyager 1 is so far away, it takes a signal from that spacecraft around 21 hours to reach Earth. As a result, NASA must wait 21 hours after sending a command to Voyager 1 before determining whether the command was carried out. It is also a testament to the enduring partnership between Voyager 1 and NASA which has a significant change that lasted for more than four decades. Some data sent by Voyager 1 confirmed that it had entered interstellar space for the first time in history. However, due to Voyager 1's enormous distance from Earth, it took time for its signals to arrive on Earth. Additionally, it took a while for researchers to examine and confirm the data from Voyager 1 before making this achievement public in September 2013. Guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.